Hello. Today we are going to synthesize a compound that should be in most amateur chemistry labs. That chemical is ammonium chloride. This chemical will be used in future videos for making various pyrotechnic devices. Ranging from smoke canisters to the dangerous moisture activated negative X. First off, a little information about ammonium chloride. Because let's face it. What kind of scientist would I be if I didn't try and disseminate information to my viewers? Ammonium chloride NH, 4, Cl, is, in its pure form, a clear white water soluble, crystalline salt of ammonia. Ammonium chloride appears to sublime, but this process actually involves decomposition into ammonia and hydrogen chloride gas. Ammonium chloride may be reacted with a hydroxide base, such as sodium hydroxide, to release ammonia gas. Now that I have given you a little bit of knowledge on ammonium chloride. Let's get started on our reactions. You will need for this reaction, a 500 ml flask, 200 ml of 32% hydrochloric acid, 200 ml of 35% ammonium hydroxide, 150 ml of 99% isopropanol. Ice bath, filtration, heat source, and a stir plate, if you have one. 35% ammonium hydroxide is a clear ammonia solution you can buy at the store. The 32% hydrochloric acid can be purchased as muriatic acid at a hardware store. If you are unsure of the percent content, you can ask them for an MSDS on it, and that should tell you. Be aware that these chemicals are reactive, and that you should be using glass or PVC containers for your reactions. Now to begin our reaction. Put your flask on your stir plate and pour in your ammonia hydroxide solution. Never reverse this process, because you never combine water to acid. Only acid to water. After you begin stirring, slowly add the acid to your hydroxide. After your chemicals are combined, begin heating it to boil and reduce the solution down to about 50 milliliters. Allow the solution to cool, or you can put it on ice. It will begin to crystallize, but after it has cooled to room temperature, approximately 25 degrees C. After it's cooled, combine 100 milliliters of the isopropanol to the solution and the rest of the crystals should crash out of solution, because the salt is very insoluble in isopropanol. Filter the crystals and wash with isopropanol to get rid of any additional water. After this you should have a relatively pure 100 gram sample of ammonium chloride. Spread it out on your filter paper and let it dry. After it's dry you can container it, and you have your ammonium chloride for future experiments.